Good morning, folks. This is Real with Robo, and I, I got a comment on a video that I just saw. Officer Tatum, ABL, I expect better of you. That's real. You're sitting here telling mixed children that they cannot identify as whatever the hell they want to be because if they were raised by white parents, then they fall into a white category. If you were raised in a white neighborhood, then you fall in a white category. Really? Really? Because I would like somebody to tell my mixed children that, that the black community accepts them as black because they were raised by black people in a black community. And I would also like to know why the fuck I got kicked to the curb when I told them it wasn't because they were black that they got somewhere in life. It was because they worked hard, diligently, and put in due effort toward getting to where they are. And I got kicked to the curb for that. You're fucking racist. But it's not like I didn't even know that black people are racist towards mixed people and white people are racist towards mixed people. And I don't regret not one minute of having my children. Not one minute. I don't regret having them at all. I don't regret loving them, raising them, and being a mama. I do not regret that. What I regret is having them into a society with people like you. You're so worried about somebody color and somebody not being white and somebody not being black that you can't even see past your own shit. Yet here you are sitting there telling everybody, oh, it's not because you're black that you got beat the hell down by the cops. They do that to white people too. Yeah, well, do you see anybody giving a fuck about the white people that get beat down by the cops? No. Do you see any programs out there that are helping white people? No. Do you see anything out there, leg up laws, that help white people? No. People like you have literally convinced my children who are mixed that they did not get anywhere they are today but due to their black skin. That's your dumb. Not mine. You're dumb. I told my children that they got to where they are today due to their own efforts, their personal life choices. And I'm sorry if that kind of talk is white talk. But, um, bitch, what color am I? Exactly. But don't think I don't know about the black neighborhoods and black areas and black communities because I fucking happen to live in one. But then does that mean I could identify as black? No, I'm white. I'm white. And anytime anybody that's white does anything against anybody that's not white. Oh my God, Becky. Who has to walk around armed? Who has to walk around waiting for a fight? Yeah, but you're not telling that side of the story, are you? Black people are the most racist fucking people on this planet. And that includes you. And I said it, and I don't give a fuck if you get mad about it either. My motto on this channel is, get mad, be mad, stay mad, over there, away from me. I've got black friends, I've got black children, I've got black and Mexican and Chinese and Filipino and everything else mixed up in my family. Do you think I give a motherfucker about you and your little race bullshit? You need to sit the fuck down and pay attention. I asked my son when he heard that video. I said, what's the first thing you think of when you think about your brothers and sisters? He said, I miss them. I said, what's the second thing you think of? He said, they're very, very nice. I love them. I say, on a scale to one to ten, where does them being black fall? He's all, what? Nowhere. They, they don't even fall on a list. And he's 13. He's 13. 
He's got more goddamn sense than you do. And no, I'm not going to apologize to the Lord because that's exactly what your sense is. Goddamned. I'm so sick and tired of this race shit. I'm not going to say it again. This is the last time I say it again. You come to my motherfucking channel. You come to my face. You, you post something. You going to get checked. Period. Oh, Colin Kaepernick is white. No, he's not. And it's not because we want white supremacy. It's a simple fact is, is that due to idiots like you and idiots like the other white people out there, they don't see mixed kids as white, even if they identify as white. They see them as black because of the skin color. And morons like you Got my daughter convinced that because just because I raised her from uh, what is scientifically and medically known as the learning years. So everything she thinks about and everything they think about and their mindset is by me. But through years and years of manipulation and brain drain from idiots like you. She thinks she got to where she was because she's black. If it wasn't for equal opportunity, she'd never have a job. If it wasn't for her blackness, her hair would be done. And mama would love her hair. Here's a key note. I love her hair. I love her hair, whether it's frizzy, I love her hair, whether I'm doing it, I love her hair, whatever it is. And by the way, let me put this in there. My oldest son, he asked me to perm his hair. Because his afro was getting all over the place and acting all unruly. And I was going to teach him about the wonders of hairspray. Except for the simple fact, when you put hairspray on that kind of hair, it kind of makes it even more brittle. And so I didn't want his hair falling out. You see, when I learned that I was having a mixed baby, what I did was I went to the library every single day, online, every single day. And I learned about their black heritage so that I could teach it to them. I find it sickening. I find it sickening. Black people are the most racist people in this damn world. And you just proved my point, Tatum. That my children will not be accepted because they're black by black people. They won't be accepted because they're white by white people. They are going to be in a constant state of I'm in the middle. And you know what? People like me that have Spanish, Irish, and Comanche heritage. I'm proud of all my heritage. But because of people like you, they can't even be proud of any of their heritage. Because you're so busy, focused on one part of their heritage. Yes, they are Irish. Yes, they are Spanish. And Spanish people are known to be light colored. Yes, they are Comanche. And yes, they are black. And idiots like you, and I said it, idiots like you, look at them. And on the white side, they say, oh, they're black. And on your side, they say, oh, they're white. Why can't they just be so fucking human? Why can't they just be human? If you're not racist, Tatum, ABL, why? 
Why, why is it, oh, she got black children, so she think that she can speak on black issues. I can speak on whatever fucking issues that plague America today if I want to because I am an American citizen and a patriot. I live here. I have my own damn mind, and I have my own damn mouth, and you cannot tell me what to think or how to think or what to talk about because my daddy fought for my rights and your rights to do exactly what I'm doing here. So fuck you, fuck that, and fuck all. I'm so sick and tired of this race shit. For years, I have told my children they can be any damn thing they want to be. It isn't about their race. It is about their hard work, their dedication, their morals. What gets them to where they are? Their life choices. Take responsibility. And you on your other videos, you're all hollering, oh, well, you know, criminals need to take responsibility for what they did. Oh, no, 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 no. By your accounts, they, they get fucked with because they're black. Out of my own daughter's mouth, she said, police don't mess with me because they think I'm going to go off. Uh, No. Police don't fuck with you because you don't do anything criminal. Not because you're black. Not because you're white. Criminals come in all colors, Tatum. You should know this. Weren't you a cop? But let me guess. You saw a mixed child out there while you were patrolling and said, Oh, look. He was raised in a white neighborhood. He's a white guy. He's going to obey everything I say because white people don't do that either. White criminals don't obey. White criminals get shot. It's more than likely to see a white criminal running around butt-ass naked high on meth. But that's just, that's what it is. It is what it is. I'm done with this video. And I'm going to say this. For the fucking record. For anybody watching me. For any of those young men and women out there that are having a problem, whether you're black or white because you're mixed, it doesn't matter. You get to where you get because of your hard work, your determination, your skills. Not because you're black. Not because you're white. If you get in trouble with the law, it's because you did something criminal. Not because you're black. Not because you're white. And most of the times, it's fucked up, especially in this society. That mixed kids look at their white parents, like myself, and throw us to the damn curb. Because, oh, they could have had it easier if they were white. Let me... Cue you in on this, little mixed children, and black children, and any other color children, except for Asian children, because you know where we're coming from. America is not geared to pamper to white people. As a matter of fact, the only legal law on the books, equal opportunity, is geared against white people and Asians. There is not one damn program anyone can tell me. And I challenge you, Tatum. And I challenge you, ABL. Tell me of a program that's solely for whites. That's like the United Negro College Fund, the NAACP, or La Raza. Tell me that's solely for whites. You tell me. How do you know that mixed children don't want to identify as white? Because if they identify as white, They'll get screwed in America, like we always do. But let's not bring that race shit up, huh? Let's not have that conversation. And I'm calling you out. You need to correct yourself. My children are not where they are today due to the color of their skin. My children do not act a certain way due to the color of the skin. It's the content of their character. 
Let them be judged by that. And take your racist ass somewhere else. You can't tell my children that they can't be black because they're white. A black man is still a black man even if he was raised by white people. White mamas are no different than black mamas. We teach our children well. Except for the idiot ones. And that goes for white mamas too. So because you were raised in a white neighborhood, because you were raised by white parents, you're white. You've got to deny a part of your heritage because of where you were raised and who you were raised by. Or you've got to deny, deny your white heritage if you were raised in a black community or the ghetto by a black parent. And you say that you're not racist. That's the racist, most racist, fucked up thing I have ever heard anybody say to anybody that was questioning their heritage. The fact of the matter is, these children, all children, need to be proud of who they are. And whatever color they want to be. They need to take responsibility for their actions. Not try and blame it on their skin color. And they need to be propped up, rewarded, and applauded when they do something grand, whether they're whatever color they are. Because it was their hard work, their determination, their spirit, their morals, their life choices that got them to where they are. Not the color of their skin, Tatum. Not who raised them. Not where they were raised. And for you to say that, knowing you have such a huge platform, you're fucked up. And so is ABL for agreeing with you. And that's Real with Robo.